But tell us basically what's going on. Um, you guys are going to, is it Hamilton this year? Burlington. Burlington, okay. Um, I'm not sure what a little speed so. What do we got for, uh, what do we got for pitching? What do we got for pitching? Uh, Dwayne sets pitching again. Good. And Steve Newell. Good. Steve can do anything. Yeah. And we picked up uh, Kevin Nichols from uh, Kentville Wildcats. Yeah. He's going to be so. Curry? Curtis Falls. Yeah. So we We've got them guys are going with. Scott's going with their own group, yeah. Is that like the uh, Brazil Lake guys? Or? Brazil Lake. Yeah. Brazil okay. Lake team. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Anybody know my friend Mr. McDonald? Yeah. Can you have a phone school or not? What? You ever had a phone school? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it? Yep. Not bad? Great. <laughs> Go ahead, Paul. Go ahead, Paul. Just, uh, um, yeah, you can get a little blurb. Yeah. Give us a blurb, and we can ask you a question afterwards. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mary and fellow counselors. My name is Paul McDonald. I'm the team rep with the Yarmouth Red Knight over 35 baseball team. We are the 2009 national champions and the 2010 runner-ups. And most recently, we'll be inducted into the Yarmouth Town County Sports Heritage Hall of Fame in May. I am here today seeking funding for our team to travel to the 2011 Nationals in Burlington, Ontario. We really appreciated the support we, uh, we received from Town Council last year and are hoping for the same this year. We are going to Burlington to represent Yarmouth. We are proud to be from Yarmouth, and with our win in 2009, we have put Yarmouth on the national baseball stage. All team members and coaches traded pins and promoted our own town last year in Burnham, BBC, and we will do the same in Burlington. Our Yarmouth pins were in high demand. We are seeking $1,500 for our Yarmouth team. We are looking at expenses of approximately $18,000 to get our team of 16 players to Burlington for the four-day tournament from July 29th to August 1st. We are doing a golf tournament on May 21st of this year. I hope some of you guys can attend, and we are seeking business sponsorships for our uniforms. In closing, I want to thank Mayor Mooney and Town Councilors for your time today, and I appreciate all your past support. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. May 21st. Something's going on with how much is it for a team or a player? For uh, I think it's 400 for a team. Okay. When did you say that was? May 21st. Well, and you sold out, you did good uh, last yeah, year. Yeah, we did wow. 36 teams so last year. We did. Yeah. yeah. We had two teams for a whole. Yeah. It was good. Good. Uh, I'm making out with sponsors on the uh, uniforms and stuff. We just started to do it actually. Um, we have approached a few businesses and they have said they will support us again this year. So. Yeah, and then uh, <coughs> last year, every player paid so much, same thing again yeah, this year? Yeah, we all put, last year we all put five or six hundred dollars towards right up front. Yeah, so they were but last year it was British Columbia too. Yeah, mm. this year it's not as much, but we all are going to put money forward to, uh, towards our trip for sure. I meant to go to the airport. What's that? I was at the airport when you guys when you guys were going up to BBC. Yeah, Zach Churchill was there too. Yeah. He came to see us. I was going to Newton Line that day and you guys were going to BC. Yeah, it was a good trip. Yeah. Yeah. All were there in the place. Yeah. All were there. Did I see you there? You probably didn't see me. I, was, I just missed Zach. Mm. Zach Churchill. He had just left. And I think the rest of them. I think they said you were there too. Yeah. Anything else for Paul? No, we're good. Good luck, Paul. Thank you, good, Paul. Okay,